Throughout history and prehistory, human lives have been guided by our sun. Today, we can analyze the intensity of a solar storm. We can understand the life cycle of a sun. And we can witness planets orbiting a sun outside our own solar system. But our distant ancestors, who saw the sun as life, were just as knowledgeable as us of the life-giving cycles of the sun. If that is so, could ancient people have performed sophisticated observations of our sun worthy of today's analog computers? Join us as we look into the five top ancient observatories. To begin our list, we selected a site that was home to ancient mythologies until researchers confirmed that this location of monolithic stones was actually an observatory. Long after it was built some four or five thousand years ago, the purpose for the building of Stonehenge was lost. Over the years, Stonehenge became a ground of worship for the ancient Druids. Legends purport that this was the site of King Arthur's crowning. Surely the site had a monumental purpose. What could have been so important that people would haul 900 stones, some weighing 50 tons, from a quarry site 240 miles away? What need would cause primitive people to lift such stones 13 feet into place? The answer is the sun. In 1963, astronomer Gerald Hawkins looked at the stones a different way. Using a computer, which was rare in 1963, he noticed numerous solar and lunar alignments. Stonehenge was not built for Druid rituals or the crowning of kings. Stonehenge was an observatory. Determining the winter solstice helped ancient people know when the sun would begin its cycle from the short days of winter to the longer days of spring and summer. Spring meant warmer weather and planting time for this cold, misty land. It seems these ancient, unsophisticated primitives were not so primitive after all. They built a huge observatory based on their own kind of scientific observations and, in their own way, created an analog calendar. Hawkins' research gave rise to the term archaeoastronomy, a new science studying how cultures understood phenomena in the sky and how that phenomenon was observed. All research and discoveries of additional ancient sites that witness a solar event owed its success to the groundbreaking research astronomer Gerald Hawkins did in 1963. So that is why Stonehenge begins our list of ancient observatories.